as you can see I've um, turned the outside ring down to size. I've now bought a um, drill with a 14mm hole, 14mm ish, and um, I have to bore that out. This is the universal compound. I have to bore that out to take a um, just under 16, about a 16mm uh, um, centering pin, pivot pin. So, I didn't show you um, machining this because uh, like normal I've forgotten all about it. But uh, we shall, we, I shall get into it. Alright, I'll set the button. Fifteen point two two, fifteen point eight, so point four. Oh well, take three coming up. Well, we can't say cheap Chinese crap. <laughs> we can say cheap Indian crap. The table works. Yeah, it needs to be pulled apart to um, work out what's going on with it. But um, at the present moment, it's all set up. And I've got uh, one half done, just need to do the second half.
Yes, we have breakthrough. That's it. There we have it. Got a bit of clean up. Right. I'm machining the underside of these uh, slots to take a 10 millimeter bolt and I'm putting it recess, recessing it so I get a little, a little bit of the, I'll probably go half the thickness of the uh, bolt so it, uh, it won't, so it won't turn. It's a lot better. Still have more to go. Not much, but I think I might start taking more depth out of it. All right, bring it back. To keep these two slots concentric, because they were originally just a rough casting, I'm using the milling machine. I've set, I've set the uh, the the stops. Oops, wrong way. So the depth stop stop is set, and also can I see that? Where is it? They're just coming into view there. I've got the um, the X the X stops set. So let's just finish this off. get the bolt in there yet because it's you know it's gotta go it's gotta go down but the um, the head can you see that side yep the head's got a uh, a nice slot seems to be uh, central I'm hoping it's central I won't find out until 
I take it off, but it's not too much work to, re to rejig it and put it back in the right place. Uh, but it looks like the bolt is going to line up with the slot and the width of those um, lands. So, yeah, that one's the same, of course. It's being concentrically turned and you know, machined. So, um, all right then, let's, let's remove this. And we'll see see what it's come up with. Bring you out so you can see something. So, um, that fits. I've just got to, um, I've just got to roll over those two edges and those two, well, two opposing edges. I don't have to do all, uh, all of them, two, four, six. Uh, just the two opposing, I just got to roll the corners off so it doesn't um, doesn't want to stick in that side slide. Actually, that's even better. Better, better. No, uh, that'll be that'll be okay once once it's. Um, just nipped up, the upper body will hold it in place. So there we have it, universal compound. I've got to drill a hole, two holes. These end up being a lot bigger than expected because um, even though I thought I had them on the uh, centre plane, they, uh, they weren't. So they're now 10.3mm 10, 10 holes rather than six. But it won't detract from the strength. I've just got to um, file file these areas up. I'll get the rotary burr out and just give them a grind, just to pretty them up and blend blend it in. But um, yeah, it's nice. And that is a hole, porosity hole. Well, that's okay. It's great. Love it. Well here we have the uh, finished product, um, it's off the mill now, the rotary table came in uh, very handy, um, so yes that's, that's the, uh, uh, the top side where the mating components uh, will um, mate up to this one, um, the two slots, the two slots here are um, through there's a there's a little I've machined away this this part would have been normally machined away uh, if it was done in the lathe but since it was done on the milling machine with a rotary table this uh, I didn't have to um, uh, go that far but I I did have I did have a, uh, a machine uh, one machine run over the top of that no, one machine run on, on a corner here. I can't remember how I got there because there was bolts holding this down. Anyhow, um, the, I, even, I even out the two slots either, either side and I had that machine mark there. So I, I just took the machine mark right around, did it on both sides so that it looks concentrically fine. Uh, and of course, it's, it's meant to be, be machined that way, isn't it? And there's the uh, there's the underside. Um, I've cleaned up the slots here for a, uh, a M8 bolt, so the nut can um, uh, lock in place. The nut, not the nut, the bolt head can lock in to um, to these slots. 
they won't turn. I've still got to relieve this centre section, so um, that'll come a bit later. I'll put it back on the lathe to do that. It doesn't have to be exactly spot on because I, I just need to machine that. It can be off a little bit, but of course I'll, I'll get it as uh, best I can. Uh, these were supposed to be 3.8 M10 or 10 uh, mil single holes. I've let, I slotted them so the um, the full size slot is 20 millimetres or three quarter. That that allows me to get a little bit of movement on the table. I've also taken the centre hole all the way through, so I can now drop a um, uh, the the centre pin that centralises the attachments will now go all the way through and on my machine the, um, the slots are 10 mil this is 16 mil thereabouts so um, it'll be turned down to 10 mil to fit my slots so there we have it that's the, uh, the finished item looks good I'm happy with that very happy with that okay on to other things. I was editing this video and um, whilst doing that I realised I haven't relieved the um, the inside the inside portion of the uh, universal base. So I'll, I'll take about 10 foul off and um, and then it's only running on the outside circle of the inner circle. And I've made that about, it's a rough casting, so it's, you can't get an exact, but I've made it, should be about 12 and a half, 13 mil. That's showing 13. So there, here we go, we'll take about 10 thou off that uh, inner section. I've now made it about 20 thousand feet. As I said, I've got to make a carriage lock for this thing because um, I don't have one. That's another project. And let's see. Okay, that will do nicely. <laughs> 